I'd been working for the tugboat company for a few years, and I really started missing music. I told my wife that I was going to build a guitar, she thought I was crazy. But to me, it wasn't crazy. The example that I had through my life was my dad. He didn't call a plumber to come fix the toilet. He just took it apart, saw how it worked, and he fixed it. That being my example, I'm not afraid to try things. Uh, the hobby that I have takes a tremendous amount of patience. It probably takes me one and a half to two months from start to finish for a guitar. The job that I have as a river pilot takes a lot of patience. I feel that, that patience is something God is going to be teaching me my entire life. I would say my favorite piece of wood is something that has a lot of character or figure. The different woods that I use for the rosettes, like the spalted maple, which I found alongside the road, I've got a big stash of that now, or black palm wood. It's just woods that most people have never seen, and they're, you know, you can look at it and sometimes it's like, well, what is this? Is this even wood? That's a good reaction to get out of somebody. While wood has a big part in the instrument, I think as big of a part, or not bigger, is how the guitar is constructed and built. One of the most satisfying parts for me building the guitar is when the actual form of the guitar starts to come together. guitars took off to the point where I had years on a waiting list, I still do not think that I would quit my job as a pilot just because the job is so enjoyable and I enjoy going to work. That's what makes my hobby so enjoyable is because I don't have to count on it to feed my family, to pay my bills. It's something that I can go out and do to unwind. My wife reminds me how long I've been out there sometimes. <laughs> job in the world and I've got one of the best hobbies in the world. <laughs>